Our podcast today is about mountains and we all desire, don't we? We all look for mountaintop experiences with God. Those moments that stick in our memories and in our hearts and in those darker times feed our faith and encourage us that God is real. Because all of us, I think, if we're honest, at some point think, is this God thing real? Does it really exist? Maybe you're watching this and you're really not sure at all. But for those of us who have experienced God in powerful ways, Um, it feeds us. I've had some mountaintop experiences in my life. I'm not mega spiritual, whatever that means, but I do know that God loves me. And there was a moment when I was just laid out on the floor for about half an hour. I felt drunk, obviously not that I know what that's like as a Baptist minister, but I was laid out on the floor and I could not move. And all I had in my mind's eye was a picture of a simple brown painted cross on a huge piece of white paper. And the cross was painted, it looked like to me, by a kid, by a child. And God was saying to me, this is how much I love you, that I allowed my son, my child, my kid, Jesus, to die in your place. I think we benefit from those mountaintop experiences in faith, but we can't live up there. I remember one speaker, um, I think it was, um, I can't remember the guy's name, it's not relevant, I'm sure God loves him just as much as me, but he said um, that you can't live on the mountaintop because the air is too thin. Do you remember in our talk in Sunday service when Amos said about the death zone, when you get above a certain level of height on a mountain, you can only survive, the human body can only survive for a couple of days up there because the air is so thin. Walker Percy is one of my favourite novelists. He's a Catholic writer who wrote six novels. It took him years to write each one because he was so careful about each word that he chose. And he said in that and in the many papers he wrote, theological ones, ones about novels and literature, he said, my aim in all my work is to show that Christianity makes sense and is real on a boring Tuesday afternoon. What he was saying was, I want to show that that God is real in the mundane things in life. Uh, Our vision finishes with celebrating the presence of God in the everyday. Our aim is to say that we as Christians, although we enjoy the mountaintop experiences, experience God in the everyday. St Teresa of Avila said one of my favourite sayings of all time. She was a saint who had mountaintop experiences with God regularly. And she said, as she worked in the convent in the kitchen, God walks amongst the pots and pans. God walks amongst the pots and pans. Mountains. Everyday life. God's in all of it.